Shalom everyone, this is Tay Janice. I'm here with a quick word. I'm going to jump right into this message. The title of this message is, There is no peace with a Jezebel, your spouse is waking up. There is no peace with a Jezebel, your spouse is waking up. This message may not be for everyone, so you want to be sure that you take this word, take this message back to the Lord in prayer. But if this message is for you, then this person has been doing spell work against your kingdom spouse this person knows that they are not the person for your kingdom spouse they're just trying to get to you they're trying to work this this magic this mind control this manipulation they're trying to work through this person to actually get to you because again they don't want you with your kingdom spouse and Here's the thing about it, you know, when you're in the Lord, whatever it is, whatever type of mind control, whatever manipulation that a person tries to pull, whatever witchcraft, whatever spell work they're trying to do, it is not going to work. The Lord has a hedge fence of protection on his children, right? The Lord's going to cover you. The Lord is going to protect you at all costs. And I had this vision um, of this man, and it kind of reminded me of the movie Obsessed uh, with the movie with Beyonce in it. And... Um, the woman had, you know, put something in his drink and he was just kind of like in a maze in the days and he was just trying to like snap out of this alcohol that he had to drink. He knew he didn't have that much, but this woman had put something in there so that she can actually take control. And that's the enemy's job. The enemy's job is to steal, kill and destroy. So this woman or this man, whoever this message may be for, you know, they want to take control of your kingdom spouse. They know that once this person wakes up, your kingdom spouse wakes up, that they're going to know the truth. And here's the thing about it. One thing about it, two things for sure. This is what the Holy Spirit is going to do. Here it is. It is it's coming from the scripture, John 16 and 13. But the Spirit will come. He is the one who shows people true things about God. When he comes, he will be a God to you. He will help you to understand everything that is true. He will not speak on his own authority. He will tell you only what he hears from the Father. He will tell you about things that will happen after this time. And for many of you, you have been in prayer for this person. And you know the boundaries that you had that you have had to set with this person because of the way that things were. You know that this person had one foot in, one foot out. You knew that they were not on the full path of the Lord. And it's the truth. You knew that. So you kept it cordial with this person. You always made sure that you didn't allow this person to actually get too close to where, you know, you would be, you know, um, controlled by the spirit right the lord didn't allow you to get too close the lord had you to pray for this actual person and so now that this person is actually trying their best to you know gravitate towards you right they're trying to come in and see for many of you they're going to call you they're going to reach out to you many of you may be already talking to that person you know maybe you guys be in prayer maybe um you may have like a quick less lesson over the phones or maybe you may meet up in person however it is that you talk to one another maybe you guys are still friends but in the past this person who your kingdom of spouse was with or currently with, you know, they have tried their best to do this mind control and spirits and have this, you know, uh, demonized spirits on your person because they were trying to get towards you. And see, here's the thing. There is no peace with a Jezebel. And your kingdom spouse is waking up realizing because the Holy Spirit is leading and guiding them into all truth of who this person really is, what they are really about, what their motives are, and they don't have a good purpose for this person, right? The enemy's job again is to steal, kill, and destroy. And since he can't do it himself, he's going him, himself. He's going to actually try his best and make someone work on his behalf because that's what the enemy does. But this person has been drawn closer to the Lord. This next scripture is coming from James 4 and 8. It says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. So this person was a person who was double-minded. But no longer does the enemy have mind control over this person. Because for many of you, again, this person has been drawn closer to Christ with you. Again, maybe some of you guys may have prayer 
Uh, they may have asked you to pray for them. The Lord may have told you to pray for this person. And uh, for many of you, this person has been seeking the Lord on their own. And many of them have been seeking the Lord on their own because, again, you know, you are not going to let this person come to you and hound you know any type of way. It's when the Lord is not going to allow this to happen. But the Lord is waking this person up to allow this person to see this Jezebel for who she or he really is. And your kingdom spouse is waking up out of that because there is no peace. For many of them, they have said, hey, I don't have any peace with this person. I, I don't like what's going on. And they have to end up calling you or trying to reach out to you. And for many of you, again, they are about to reach out to you. But you always make sure you go back to the Lord in prayer to ask the Lord, hey, God, show me how you want me to talk to this person. How do you want me to handle this situation? How is it that you want me to go about doing your will and your way? Because I know you've called me to this person, but I need to be sure of what I'm saying is you know, going to be fruitful out of my mouth. So you just continue to trust the Lord when this person does call you and reach out, or even if they're already in contact with you, you just make sure that you pray for this person and pray for this situation. I don't know who this message is for, but again, there is no peace with the Jezebel. The Lord is waking up your kingdom spouse. Whatever the Lord joins together, whoever the Lord joins together, no man can tear it apart. It doesn't matter if this person doesn't want you with this person or not. Listen here, baby. Ain't nobody mad but the devil. And what's for you is for you. They may have been what this person wanted at the time. But you have always been who the Lord prefers. And see, here's the thing. The first shall be last and the last shall be first. And this thing is being revealed. The truth is coming out. And this person is not living in this delusion anymore. They are fully awake or they're becoming fully awake because the Lord is waking them up. This is happening right now. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord. Amen. Let's go to the throne of grace. Spirit of the living God, we thank you for this message that you've given to us on today. Right off the top, we silence the voice of every single Goliath that's speaking negative. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. Shalom in the Lord, meeting peace in the Lord. If you are new here, welcome. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. As the Holy Spirit downloads to me, I'm going to upload to you what the Lord gives to me to give to you. You guys, this is our year of answered prayers, and we are not stopping until we make hell nervous. You are bone of this man's bone, flesh of this person's flesh. That's what's happening. That 222, honey, that's all over you. The Lord knows and sees your kingdom spouse's heart and what they actually need. And no matter what type of mind control, manipulation, spell work, whatever, it won't work on the children of the Lord. It will not work on it. Whatever the enemy meant for your bad, God is turning this thing around for your good because all things work together for the good of those that love the Lord that are called according to his purpose so the enemy might as well stop tripping <laughs> tell that old devil if you're gonna be rapping i'm gonna be singing we'll be doing a duet but you're not going to back me into a corner i'm going to get who god has for me and there is no peace with the jezebel so this person is just running i see this person just running in the spirit away from this particular woman or man because they are finally awake and they are hitting the highway straight running. They know that this is not for them. They know this person is not for them. And that's what they are doing. They are getting out of the way, coming towards you. Mm. This message is for somebody on today. If this message is for you, so into this ministry, so into this word as the Lord lays it on your heart to do so. I do pray, amen, that God continue to allow you to know that, listen... Hey, that, that Mark 9 and 23, that anything is possible to those who believe. Amen. Believe that God is doing this thing for you. What's for you is for you. It's not going to miss you. Amen. People have been asking, how can they sow? You can do so by Cash App, PayPal, Zelle, your super thanks. And when you sow, uh, make sure that you sow expecting to reap and harvest. Sow expecting. Do like the widow woman did when she sowed into the prophet's hand. God multiplied it for her. And if you want to just be a blessing to this ministry, hey, I bless the Lord for you. I thank the Lord for you. Amen. Amen. If you need a prayer request, send it to me. I will respond to you. Just be patient with me. Amen. Well, I love you guys with the love of Christ. And you already know that there's nothing you can do about it. You know, I'll see you in the next video. Shalom.